El Conde, out on Netflix, new film from director Pablo Larraín, who, amongst other films, made Jackie and Spencer, both of which I quite enjoyed. This one is a bizarre, grotesque, fantastical and satirical historical fiction film about General Pinochet, the infamous tyrant of Chile. Uh, the premise of the black and white movie is that Pinochet is actually, first of all, he's not dead, uh, and secondly, he's actually a 250 year old vampire who at the end of his stint in Chile has just once again faked his own death and now he lives in this countryside estate and, and he's become sort of nihilistic and he's contemplating mortality and the possibility of finally ending his own existence. And he is then visited by his five adult children who are desperately trying to ensure that they'll get some of his corrupt money hidden away in various documents and offshore accounts. His wife tries to become a vampire herself before she dies and to top, top off all this absurdity uh, a young nun pretending to be an accountant shows up um, presumably to help with the, settling the documents etc finding all the riches but her true purpose is to exercise the vampiric demon and kill Pinochet so as I said at the beginning it is pretty fucking wild uh, it is generally speaking a very strange movie um, not the least with even its narration I mean the dialogue is mostly in Spanish and French uh, but then there's also a voiceover narration done in British British accent English uh, which comes to make sense about you know about the around the final act uh, you suddenly realize where where the film was going with this narration and why it makes sense um, but I, I don't want to spoil the details of what happens um, in any case the story is kind of all over the place um, it seems to be partly a political satire partly a sort of darkly humorous attempt at judgment of Pinochet himself and his likes, uh, political elites who are riddled with greed, love violence, have no conscience and essentially make it seem like being a literal vampire who is sucking people's blood and eating their hearts is kind of the smallest of the bad things that, that they all perpetuate. And I have to say, it's an interesting set of ideas, uh, but I think the point of the film gets somewhat lost in all of this grotesque macabre I can't really say what the movie was supposed to be about in the end uh, what was the, the final statement it was trying to make it is pretty I like the cinematography uh, but on the whole it just seems like kind of a fascinating exercise in writing and directing that ends up going nowhere uh, about half an hour in I don't know maybe I'm lacking the necessary context to appreciate it more maybe it's more of a personal passion project for Lorraine who is from Chile and, and sort of probably knows the history of Pinochet much more than I do and so I think if you know where he's coming from in terms of not just geography but ideas perhaps you'd be able to enjoy El Conde more than I did. Um, I thought it was a cool idea that struggles in execution.